high heeled padded bras, do these sound like the sort of items innocent children should be wearing? No, I don't think so either. But some high street stores beg to differ, selling these items for children as young as seven. Tonight, my aim is to find out, are children growing up too fast? Are we to blame parents for the exploitation of our children, or do we turn to other means, such as the media, socialisation, and UK stores. I'm going to aim to get to the root of this problem and find out how we can solve the issue of childhood disappearing. Earlier on I asked some parents what they thought. Here's what I found out. I think there is a heightened media availability on the internet and it's, you can get it everywhere. Yes, I do. I think that um, there's more available to them, such as the internet, for them to get information that they probably wouldn't normally have got 10 or 15 years ago. Yes, I do. I think there's a lot more pressure on children nowadays. Yes, I think children are growing up too fast because I think they see too much, they hear too much and they know too many adult things. All the parents I spoke to thought that yes, their children are growing up too fast, but they've all got their own individual reasons for thinking this. Statistics show that 3.5 million children in the United Kingdom are affected by a worrying loss of childhood. Researchers found that 55% of parents say childhood is over by the time their children leave primary school and over 1 million children under the age of 12 are reported to be addicted to using the social network site Facebook. Earlier today I spoke to Miss Brooks, an upper school teacher. She told me her views on how the children in her school become more in the know than we may choose to believe. Uh, do you think children grow up too fast these days? Yes, in some ways, I think. And especially because I'm a bit... Obviously, I've got my mother hat on and my parent, uh, my teacher hat on. So I think they do, yes. Um, and particularly, I've noticed quite recently, quite a lot of things, uh, things on television regarding teenage sex. And when I was a teenager, it was very much a no-no. And now it's kind of completely acceptable that teenagers will be having sex underage and there's programs actually about improving your sex life when you're underage which I find yeah. slightly weird. So do you think that is because of the media then? So just TV or other media yes, as well? Yes, mainly TV but also gaming I think has a big influence on it. So, so it definitely has changed over time? I feel it has but then... Do you then think it will carry on getting worse or...? Um, I think who's to know but I think... Um, I think there has to be a line drawn at some stage. I mean, personally, my philosophy or my belief is that you have to, as a parent, you have to spend as much time with your children as possible and be really good role models. But as you've seen over the years, people have been more increasingly obsessed by working harder, working longer. So teenagers have less access to their parents than they ever did ever before. And that has allowed some of these things to creep in. Yeah, so the parent relationship is very important, do you think? Absolutely, you know, yeah. We act at school and stuff. Absolutely. I think it's the number one most important thing. How, how do you try and deal with it? Like, do you try and limit the conversation? Like, if you hear yeah, an appropriate conversation? Yes, absolutely. I mean, I will hold true to my kind of Victorian values, as you know. Like, I don't want to hear about a lot of this stuff. It shouldn't yeah. be, you know, I think teenagers need guidance about how to talk to people differently and, and interact with different people in different ways. You know, a lot of students will try to, you know, get me in conversation about things that... I really don't have any interest in hearing about, and, and particularly as their teacher, you feel like yeah, you just but they were quite, yeah, absolutely. Yeah. And I'm really kind of old school about that sort of thing. I think that you should know how to talk to an adult, and you should know that they're not going to be interested in that. So don't even bother. Miss Brooks thought that perhaps it's a socialisation of children in their early life that's causing them to be more mature than they should be. She agrees this links with media images. However, other factors such as the high street stores and advertising are partly to blame. Stores such as Peacock's, Asda, Primark and Matalan were said to have aimed inappropriate items of clothing at far too young an audience. Reports suggest stores such as Matalan and Peacock's have been selling items like padded bras and bikinis in small sizes clearly aimed at girls as young as 10. In response to this, the British Retail Consortium have put down stricter guidelines in order to clamp down on the issue. Coming up, we investigate this further.